Here's an old, uh, wouldn't say old, but haven't played with it in a while, but plasma flame circuit. I decided I would uh, just kind of use it as a test rig, and I'm going to build another one when I decide to uh, spend the money. I'm going to try to get a, maybe a couple sick fits, and then try to rebuild a sort of better design. I think the biggest problem for me in the past was trying to uh, source capacitors. Usually I'll come across one that seems suitable but that thing will be like 50 to 100 dollars <laughs> then i'm just like yeah never mind this one right here is set up with a uh random irfp 460 so 450 or 460 i can't quite remember but there you go so that's a 460 it's one of the ones from you know amazon it's labeled 018p so you know that's a clone type deal right now there's no resonator hooked up normally i would have a gate capacitor but i don't have one so basically right now the way this is working is it's just using its own uh, gate capacitance on the mosfet for it to switch and i'm running it from this supply which is set to about 25.7 or something so if i cut that on pulling very very little power because i've got the gate resistor turned up slightly so as I cut it up just to the right point boom and it uh, starts oscillating pulling about 100 milliamps or something like that so under 3 watts that's what the uh, MOSFET drain voltage is see that so it's at about 140 about 150 volts that likes to shift around quite a bit but I just kind of want to show what happens when I uh, sweep the frequency up so right now it's at 7.7 .7 megahertz so if I just kind of raise that up can't really get everything in the uh, shot so I'm just raising that up and now we're at about 12 megahertz well, dropped in uh, voltage very slightly I keep dropping the capacitance down increase that frequency then I can just bring it all the way up when I bring it all the way up now we're over 23 megahertz but you know just like to the eye seems like a fairly uh, appealing setting that's about 35 watts or so and uh, light stuff up pretty good get a little baby uh, arc off there can't actually turn this up to uh, pull a fair, fairly hot arc off that terminal there all the way back down to like 3 watts about 7 something megahertz and those actually still will stay lit just very slightly because they're already ignited from before but you can see you know from what it looks like the uh higher in frequency I go the brighter those get however it looks to me like I need to maybe back it down a little bit till I see you know, maybe something closer to that right there or even the lower I go starts to look a little bit cleaner you know like something like that that kind of seems about what I might be looking for. I don't really have a lot of power output. I could uh, cut the voltage up, but I'd rather run it about like that. But it is kind of interesting how uh, I can hear various kickback in my line using this supply, um, depending on how I vary that. A lot of times when this thing is really putting out, I hear a loud buzz in my speakers it's just like and I gotta turn them things off and a lot of times when I get like the maximum output it'll go silent I hear absolutely nothing right now 
I'll cut it all the way up in here. Little hum completely goes away. Well, right there. But there's a lot going on. This high frequency stuff is uh, it's complicated, but I always thought that's pretty cool. It's not a very big field, uh, but it does get fairly strong, but that voltage is way too high, so now let me just kind of sort of cut it down, so now I'm at about 20 volts, I can really see that, about 20 volts, and let's bring it to about 12, so that's about 11.7 or something like that, about 7 watts, and uh, you know, at that point, pretty dim. It's not putting out enough to easily light all the loads now. Bring it down. <laughs> well, it's kind of funny to bring it down to like a watt. So there goes a watt. So you can <laughs> you still see the tiniest little baby field and it's gone. But probably like some LEDs or something. But. Yeah, it seemed like uh, about 25 volts, maybe let's just say 24 volts, seemed like a uh, pretty decent deal. And turned it to about, uh, about 30 watts or so. And yeah, pretty cool. So this Amazon uh, fits, I'll say a lot of times while they don't really seem all that great, uh, they do work fairly well with certain applications. Makes that simple is you don't have uh, anything more than just this one capacitor. I've got this whole range of variation to work with to where if I really just kind of bump it up fairly high, it uh, works alright.